And oh, let's get to the outside of Cooper here. Keep it wound up. Get it sideways. Oh, 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 oh we almost flipped. Oh, you can feel the power in this Hummer. This Hummer is actually a. This feels pretty good. I don't know. We'll see when we get to the. Oh, that's a jump. That's a pretty good size jump. Uh, let's see. We're going to try to pass it right here. Oh. I'm telling you, the AI is actually a. Uh, there are no slouches. Uh, if you're asking, I am using an Xbox. Oh, he just killed the barrier. Ow. Hello, YouTube Komodo Gaming here, giving you guys my first impressions of Gravel. Now, Gravel is a pretty much extreme off-road racer, uh, similar to the early Dirt games and something like Sega Rally. Uh, it's got a pretty wide selection of cars and tracks, and I thought this would be something that we could check out real quick on the channel. Uh, maybe it'd be something you guys enjoy. And now, when I say the uh, the early Dirt games, I'm talking like Dirt 1, 2, and 3, not like the more simulation Dirt uh, Rally. Uh, so don't go in here expecting that this is going to be a sim because this is completely arcadey handling, but it's not over the top arcadey. Like you're not power sliding through every corner. Uh, the cars actually do have quite a bit of weight to them. So anyways, we're going to be checking this out here today. If you want to see more stuff like this on the channel, hit that thumbs up button. It helps out my channel and comment below with other games that you would like to see here on the Komodo Gaming channel. But anyways, let's jump into this. Alright, so we're going to be doing some uh, free race here. I would go do the career. The career is a bit odd. Uh, you do use it to unlock cars and tracks, but it's not like a traditional career where you work your way up the ladder. It seems like it just kind of throws you in a lot of random races. And then there's like these little boss levels where you go up against a racer. Uh, I haven't gotten too far into it, but I figure we better jump in over here. Uh, but as far as the disciplines, uh, there's a lot of different things that you can do here. So say we have the Memorial Coliseum here. Uh, in Los Angeles. This is something for like little stadium trucks. You've got stuff like this. You got stuff from big rally stages. Uh, pretty cool track selection. So let's go to this figure eight. We're going to start off here with probably some trophy trucks. Uh, let's see categories. Uh, you got speed cross, which I'm assuming is similar to maybe rally cross. Uh, you got the trophy trucks. Extreme racing A, which these are, uh, these look to be a little bit older rally cars. You've got those. You got the B class. Uh, which, by the way, there's a Porsche there, and I was actually really surprised to see that in the game. Uh, you got the C-Class. Uh, let's see, D-Class. Oh, these look kind of old. Actually, not. looks like there's some modern ones over here. Cool. And what else do we have? We have Cross Country, which are your big like SUV-type vehicles. Uh, and we've got Cross Country A, which these are really cool because you have stuff like big Hummers. And uh, we got like a Ford Ranger over here. Do they still make the Ranger? I almost thought they could, they stopped doing those. Maybe they didn't. Uh, so you've got that. What else do we have here? And then you got the all category. Uh, let's go ahead and go with uh, trophy trucks here since we're in like a stadium style setting. And let's uh, jump into the race here. All right, so we're ready to go here. You got our truck lined up in the background. Uh, you can change some options. We're going to do five laps. This is a pretty tight uh, course, so it shouldn't take us too long to do that. Now, as far as the graphics, graphics are actually pretty nice, I must say. Uh, they would they don't really match dirt, but they're not that far off of it. So, oh yeah, we're ready to go here. All right, here we go, trophy trucks. <laughs> oh, we got a pretty decent start there. And oh, these uh, stadium tracks are really cool. I do wish they had some bigger ones because all the stadiums seem to be extremely small. Uh, it would be nice to see some more wide open tracks, but they are tight. There's going to be a lot of contact. And a lot of sliding and jumping. Uh, one cool thing I did notice, uh, it does seem like the track actually deforms a little bit. You'll see lines kind of uh, form wherever a lot of the racers are. I saw it. I thought that was pretty cool. Kind of reminds me of like the uh, MX games and stuff like that. And Oh, we're getting in here really tight. You know, I need to start using the outside. They're getting all bogged down there, trying to stay in a line here. Let's go ahead and go to the outside here. Now, as far as views, uh, it does have a cockpit cam. It's got a pretty nice interior, I would say. Uh, one thing I would like to see, it would be nice to see a little bit of like dirt flying up on the screen, especially in the cockpit cam. Uh, you don't really get that effect. Actually, we're going to go up to the outside here. They, uh, they bog down there in the low lane and oh, come on, keep it wound up. <laughs> that helped me a little bit. I got to the outside of the other guy, but kind of lost traction there. Whoop. Now, it might look a little bit twitchy, but I can guarantee you, like, a lot of it is just the back end is very unstable. It's not the steering input. 
It seems to be the, the back end sways quite a bit. And oh, let's get to the outside of Cooper here. Keep it wound up. Get it sideways. Oh, 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 oh we almost flipped. Oh, I kind of caught there and I got back uh, into the guy in front of me. See, we're about to come around for the white flag. That's what I was saying. These uh, stadium courses are really short. Uh, the first one they give you, it's like just an oval, and you can probably knock out about 20 laps really quick. Uh, let's go to the inside here, get it sideways, protect the inside. Oh, he gave us a little nudge. There we go. Speed through here. Okay, I gotta be careful in this corner. The AI is actually pretty aggressive. They will try to shoot up the inside. Oh, we swung a little wide. Kept it wound up though. Oh, yes. Oh, that was really satisfying. And like I said, the arcade handling actually isn't bad. Uh, it's not like, um, and you gotta listen to the uh, the cheesy commentator here. We'll go ahead and skip him. But like I was saying, the uh, the handling's not bad. It's not realistic, but it's not like over the top handling, which I it's got like a nice a nice mixture in there, I would say. But yeah, let's uh, go select some more cars and let's do some more races. All right, as far as the tracks here, so we got a nice selection. You'll see in the top right corner what types of tracks they are. Uh, cross country is going to be a point to point race. You just kind of fly across something like a desert here. Uh, the wild rush is like a big circuit, not like an actual track, but well, when I say track, like a, a legit professional track. Uh, and then you go over to the stadium circuits and then you have the speed crosses, which is kind of your rally cross tracks, which quite a few of those are locked for some reason. You only have one to start off with. Uh, I'm really uh, kind of intrigued by the Vegas one. I want to see that. But yeah, uh, let's do something. Uh, let's try this Wild Rush. We're going to go to the Frozen Peak. And, oh, that's a pretty basic looking track. Yeah, it takes a little bit to get the really good looking tracks. Uh, these are quite small, so I think we could do five laps here. Hmm. Let's go to a different category. We'll save maybe the Speed Cross for an actual Speed Cross track. Let's go with a... Uh, Let's just go with the extreme racing. You got the Toyota here. This is actually a actually a really iconic rally car. Pretty cool looking. I like the uh, it's got the snorkel on the side of it, and you got the little spare tire. It looks like it's ready to go. Uh, oh, they do have the Impreza too. Oh, they actually got several of them. You got the 2003 one, which that's probably was Colin McRae, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, we'll go ahead and drive the Toyota here though. Let's do that. Keep the paint scheme, and let's get out to the track here. All right, we are ready to go here. Nighttime, five laps. I did bump the AI up too hard. I'm curious uh, as to how the snow is going to affect the handling here. Uh, oh, it's actually quite pretty at night. I think this is the first time I've actually played uh, with any of the night settings. And Oh, this is nice, actually. Really nice. All right, let's get up the uh, side here. I've never been on this track. It looks pretty easy. It's just kind of an oval, almost. And Oh, <laughs> Into the back of Johnson here. Let's see. There's a turn coming up. And oh, you can see the snow banks on the outside of the track. I bet you that would almost flip you hitting those. Uh, got good pace. Oh, oh, oh. Now, in a car like this, I don't typically uh, use the handbrake. On speed cross, I will, but here it seems like you can just kind of tap the brake or use your opponent as a brake, depending on which one you want to do. Sorry, Lopez. And oh, get a little bit of break here. Oh, we slid wide again. Uh, we got this. We still got plenty of laps here. Is everybody together? Yeah, everybody's pretty much together here. Oh, I'm getting to the back of Lopez a little bit. Use him up. Kind of go up the inside here. There we go. Uh, <laughs> this is a it's a bit of a tight track. It's a little deceiving at times, like because I guess also it doesn't help that it's night. But trying to figure out exactly where the walls are because the walls are. Like that one on the outside is basically white. You do have a blue line up at the top of it. Uh, let's see. There we go. All right, let's try to make a run here at Johnson. Oh, that was a hard bump. Uh, we're gonna try to. Oh, I got him. Got him a little sideways there. Uh, let's see. We're gonna try to pass him right here. Oh, I'm telling you, the AI is actually uh, they're no slouches. They're uh, pretty tough. Uh, let's try the, uh, oh, he pushed me. Oh, just killed a sign. Oops. My bad. Didn't mean to do that. Let's throw it sideways. Try to stay off the banks on the outside. All right. Let's, uh, let's make a run at first here. You know, I don't know if there's a rear view mirror. I see the arrows down there, but I don't trust them. I never liked arrows in games. It would be nice to have a rear view. Actually, question is, does the cockpit have a, oh, 
By the way, there's a rewind button. I accidentally clicked that. I'm looking for the cockpit here. Uh, let's see. Cockpit, cockpit. Maybe here? Nope. Dang. Yeah, I really wish there was a, uh, a rear view. That'd be one option I'd really like to see. Uh, now, if you're asking about damage model, uh, I'm going to go ahead and say uh, damage model is not great. Uh, there is visual damage. Supposedly, there is active damage, but I've yet to, like, plow it head-on into a wall. So I don't know how effective it is, but I have wrecked pretty good. And I would, I would say the, the damage is a little lackluster. It wouldn't be something like dirt or uh, definitely not something like soft body physics wise. And I didn't realize we were on the last lap there. I was babbling. We finished second. I don't know if we would have caught first anyways. They were uh, actually quite fast. Yeah, I'm not really sure if I would have caught him. I was still uh, almost a second and a half back there. All right, uh, let's go ahead and move on to the next race. All right, we're going completely opposite of what we did. We're going to the cross country, so this is going to be a point to point. Now, one cool thing about free play is that all the progression as far as your levels do count. So you will still be unlocking cars in free play, which is very nice. Uh, we're going to use, let's see, let's go to the cross country cars, A or B. I'm kind of wanting to use A here. That Hummer's pretty sweet. Uh, yeah, let's try the Hummer out here. And let's go out to the desert. All right, so we're ready to go here. We are in a checkpoint race. Uh, this is wide open tracks. You just got to hit the checkpoint. Uh, it's like a gate or something. And it's just a point to point race. So it's not a circuit. So let's get in this sweet Hummer and check this out. And uh, I'm ready. Are we uh, all side by side? Is it a two? Okay, it's a double file start. Here we go. Kind of wish they had some land rush style starts where it's like they line them all up side by side. That would be kind of cool to see. And oh, yes, this is beautiful. Oh, I think I'm on the back of somebody. Oh, you can feel the power in this Hummer. This Hummer is actually a... This feels pretty good. I don't know. We'll see when we get to the... Oh, that's a jump. That's a pretty good size jump. Oh, <laughs> that actually, uh, that kind of hurt my tailbone. Uh, let's see. So you can see the uh, the gates are coming up here. I don't know. I guess you have to be in between the gates. I don't know what happens if you hit the... Uh, it's not really even a barrier. It's just like one of those mesh fences. Uh, I don't know if you can kill one of those and it'd be good or... Uh, I'm assuming you have to go in between the pillars here. There we go. Uh, we got a good run going. Oh, is this like an oasis or something? Oh. <laughs> oh, boy. Let's see trying to check the cars behind me. Uh, I still don't like the whole fact of not having a rear view, so they kind of sneak up on you sometimes. I don't want to go over somebody's nose and crash myself. Oh uh, yeah, you're noticing these uh, these races are quick. Uh, I can assure you that the courses do get bigger uh, as you go. And I'm assuming the only way to get the courses is through the career mode. Now the cars you can just unlock by level. Uh, and oh, we are carrying an insane amount of speed on this dirt. Or I should say sand, my bad. Uh, what are we, 60, uh, 65% done here. Uh, I've got it wide open. Uh, it's just going to be a matter of can I catch. Oh, wow, he got to run up the inside there. Uh, water. Oh, the track splits. Track splits. Let's go, uh, let's take the outside here. And, oh, uh, where's the leader? He's right there. Oh, don't miss the checkpoint. Did I miss it? No. No, I missed the checkpoint. Oh, that answered my question from earlier. I barely missed it. I was just carrying so much speed I couldn't cut it over to the side. No, we're gonna... Uh, wait. Oh, that was uh, last place. Dang it! Okay, goal is to not finish last here. and Looks like we're coming down to shoreline or something. Uh, not last. Not last. Come on. Come on, get some speed. Gotta throw it sideways. Oh, come on, turn. Oh, it's not turning. Oh, it's not turning. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, that ended in disaster. Wow. Last place. We went from fighting for first... To last place that uh that kind of stinks all right let's go ahead and try some rally cross or speed cross as they call it in the category it says rally cross on the track name which i'm assuming that's just track name uh these are gonna be do i only have one car for this unlocked hmm uh these are the rx's do we have a different class of speed cross i would almost say that you can use the uh extreme classes too I guess let's just go and do a... I kind of wish I had a different car. I'm not a big fan of the Mini. Oh, well. I guess we're going to be the Mini. And let's try this out. I don't know how big this track is. I think it's a, a little bit bigger. So let's just go with three laps here. 
All right, we are ready to go here. Now, if I recall right, I think this track might have been in Dirt Rally. I mean, not Dirt Rally, Dirt 1. Uh, Dirt 1 didn't have a really big rally cross presence, but it did have a couple tracks. And I know this is one of the real tracks in the game. Uh, let's see. Up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. Kind of bumping in the back from here. See if we can move up the inside. Oh, the handling on these is actually really satisfying. Uh, I've driven the extreme cars on this track, but I've never done the uh, the rally cross cars or the speed cross cars. Uh, this feels really good, actually. Uh, pretty wide open. I'm slide up the inside here. There's a bug right in front of me here. Uh, oh boy, I'm trying to. There's no like hairpins or anything here. Uh, now I'm actually really excited. I need to do some more of the career mode because I do want to see more tracks like this. I imagine these can be really, really fun. Uh, let's go up the inside. Actually, technically I'm on the outside now. Let's see if we can swing wide and maybe cut low. Nope. Uh, if you're asking, I am using an Xbox. Oh, he just killed the barrier. Ow. Uh, that was uh, all of a sudden. But anyways, I'm using an Xbox One remote. Uh, I don't know how this handles with the wheel. I don't know if it would be great. I don't know. It might be a little too twitchy, a little too arcadey to be satisfying with the wheel, but you never know. Uh, as long as the force feedback's right. And oh boy. Okay, we need to get a podium here. So this is last lap. Uh, we might have to make some bold moves down into one of these corners. Um, I think I have to break a little bit here. Uh, they have a little bit of a track map down in the bottom left, but it doesn't show that far ahead, so kind of have to go off memory here. I think there's going to be one more. Oh, we're a little... Okay, well, you know what? We're going to go this way. Oh, that was a mistake. That was a mistake. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wait, is that the VW that hit the wall earlier? Well, that's embarrassing. I lost it there at the end. That was, uh, that was pretty satisfying, though. Wow, uh, we're going to do really one nice. more thing so here. I'm going to go ahead here. and run basically the same race. We're going to run with uh, trophy trucks, and I'm going to see what the settings are. I wonder if there's a rain setting. Uh, that would be the one last thing we haven't seen yet. Here we go. We've got the rain to contend with now. We're doing the same track. Trophy trucks, rain. Oh, this is actually pretty. And All right. Oh, you can feel the wheel spin on the asphalt here. <laughs> uh, yeah, these ain't quite as nimble as the, uh, the other cars, but these are fun to throw around. And look how muddy the track is on the outside. Uh, the rain effects are actually really impressive. I'm, uh, it's the first time I've seen this too, so. Oh, boy. Yeah, you can definitely tell these trophy trucks just don't have the speed that the rallycross cars have through here. Uh, we might try some cockpit here. Oh, nope, I keep hitting that button. The, the bumper... I'm so used to the bumper being like a view change on a lot of games uh, that it isn't on here. It's actually the, uh, I think it's called the select button. It's not the start button, but I think it's something like that on the Xbox One remote. I know the PlayStation is called the select uh, button. Maybe it's the options button. And uh, this, is, uh, this isn't too bad from the inside, I must say. Not bad at all. The rain effects, they're okay. Uh, kind of wish they were a little bit heavier, and I just hit the button again. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Well, uh, let's go back into this view. Get the really close hood cam. All right, we need to make up a position here. This uh, car is kind of... Oh! Oh! All right. Uh, we're going to be, uh, I guess, banging fenders for a little bit. Can't tell what truck, what kind of truck that is. Is that another Toyota? I know they have Toyotas. They have Chevrolet. And there's one more truck. I have to see what it is again. Uh, let's see. Oh, we got a little bit of ways to uh, catch up to the leader here. Try to get the traction down. It seems like the leader's just escaping us right now. We're going to have to have a really good lap here in order to try to get first. Uh, but yeah, uh, like I said, I'm still kind of blown away. I did not expect the rain effects to look like this. I figured the track was going to look a little bit wet, and that was about it. But it actually looks like there's puddles on the track, and then the mud off track looks fantastic. So uh, I do believe the weather settings and day to night is selectable on almost every track. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I mean, there could be a, a track or two. Maybe in the snow track, you're not going to be able to select rain. But I would assume that maybe they have snow in that. Yeah, we're not going to be able to catch the leader here. We just don't have enough track. Uh, that's why I want to lock the, uh, the bigger tracks. I'm sure they're more technical and you'll have more sections to pass. These, uh, these rookie-style tracks are really wide open. 
So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little first look at Gravel. Uh, like I said, pretty cool game. Uh, do keep in mind, arcade racer. But if you're looking for something like this to get your off-road fix in, uh, something similar uh, to maybe Dirt 1, 2, or 3, I think this is a, a pretty good game to try that with. But yeah, hope you guys have a great day, and we will see you guys next time. Thank you.